What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Yanmega. Yanmega, for some reason, is considered good by Wolfie, who, who built this team originally. Uh, but then someone else made this rental code, and I saw it over on Gene's channel, so I'm going to link something in the description. Uh, but I guess Yanmega's good, because Wolfie says so. So what we've got here is we've got a Tailwind Sash Speed Boost Yanmega. It can get really fast, and it can support with Tailwind. It's also immune to Earthquake, so it can pair up with this Ursaluna pretty well. The other way this team can go is Trick Room. You can use Incineroar to Fake Out, Porygon 2 to set Trick Room, and Ursaluna to sweep under Trick Room. And then we have some cool sets here. We have Sneasler with Stellar Terra White Herb. So if you get Intimidated, or if you click Close Combat, you get a stat drop, White Herb triggers, and then there's your Unburden. And also Stalwart Power Herb Archaladon. Stalwart is not a common ability on Archaladon, but what it does is ignore all redirection, including follow me. So you can just use this Power Herb Terra Electric Electroshot to blow something up when they think they're safe next to like an Indeedee or an Electabuzz. But anyway, this team must be solid, so let's go ahead and try it. Alright, here we are up against a Porygon 2 Ursaluna of their own, but they for some reason brought Bear Tick. Well, I've got Yanmega, so who am I to judge? They've got Ninetales, Talonflame, and Garchomp. Those are good Pokemon, at least. So we both got five good Pokemon and a thing. Alright. Yanmega has to be able to do something, right? It'll give us Tailwind. We gotta match Tailwind. Unless they go Trick Room mode. This bear's actually pretty fast. I don't think we want Trick Room up. Eighty-eight times two? Yeah, we gonna be fast. Alright. In that case, I think they Talonflame and maybe Garchomp? There's a few things for Incineroar. We could fake out the Ninetales, we can intimidate a couple of those guys. Stopping Aurora Veil would be cool. Maybe not going to happen, but would be nice. And the Sneasler might be faster than Ninetales, right? No. Alright, well, then we're gonna bring Archaluna, or we gonna bring... Why is it slowing down? We're gonna bring our own Porygon too, because we don't want Trick Room going up. Am I super confident with what I brought? No, because I brought Yanmega. But Porygon 2 seemed pretty good into their team, especially because we have Ice Beam. That's what I wanted to check there when I was running out of time. Oh, great card. Very cool. And, and you got a hat. That's a, that's a funny little hat. Talonflame Ursa Luna. Well, I love getting this Intimidate down. I think we match Tailwinds. And what? Try to knock off the Ursa Luna? Get out of here into Porygon 2, get out of here into Archaladon? Not great. Yeah, because I could Tailwind and just try to knock off the Ursaluna. They could attack my Yanmega directly with Brave Bird, but then I get Tailwind up and they don't have Tailwind and they break their Gale Wings. They could Taunt. Yeah, I, I really want to try to knock off Ursaluna, because if they're greedy... Oh, they side-willowed themselves. They weren't Flame Orb. Or they were worried about me knocking off their Flame Orb and just burn themselves right away. Yeah, they were Flame Orb anyway. Wow. Cool play. Goodbye, Ensign. Okay, so that was a really cool play by them. But they lowered their defenses, so Bug Buzz might be able to take them out now. They got to preserve their Gale Wings as well, but who cares? Uh, I cares, because I would like to have Electroshotted them and taken them out. So I'll, I'll go Arch, I still will do this play. I think Bug Buzz can maybe take out their bear from here. And 
then do I want to lock in Electro Shot? They have a potentially another ground type. Do I want to try to read a Garchomp swap? I kind of do. I kind of want to Bug Buzz and just Dragon Pulse the Talon Flame. Okay, the bear swapped. So Talon Flame's staying in. There's P2. Okay, maybe they don't want to set Tailwind at all then. No, they did Tailwind. I don't get that. That was okay damage into P2 with Bug Buzz. And Dragon Pulse... Ooh, a lot of damage. See, I think Air Slash finishes off Talonflame. They don't get to move. Do I think Terra Electric Electro Shot can take out Porygon 2 from here? If it can, that would be enormous. I'm gonna go for it. Did I click the right button? Okay, there's a swap of Talonflame, but okay. Into Nine Tails. I'd like a free air slash into that. I hope I clicked Electro Shot. If I accidentally clicked Thunderbolt, I'm not happy. So I'm committing all this damage, and if I don't get all this damage, I'd be. Alright, how much air slash doing? Almost half, okay. Okay, it was Electroshock. Phew. Fantastic. Uh, maybe I could have doubled into Porygon 2 to make sure I take it out. This is gonna be some damage either way. Got him! Yeah! Alright, I'm starting to like Electric Terra, Power Herb, Archaladon. This is the second time I've used this set now, and it feels good. It feels really good. There's a bear here. Our Tailwind's about to run out, but they have two. We could just double protect next turn. Unfortunately, Air Slash isn't going to be enough to take out the Nine Tails. I wish it was. But they're not safe against a plus one Dragon Pulse into their bear. Yeah. I think this is fine. Could get a flinch on Air Slash. Nope, they just connect Blizzard. Nobody goes down to that, though. Don't say it, don't think it. Nothing froze. And then a plus one Dragon Pulse takes out bear? Yes, it does. Perfect. And since they don't have Gale Wings, Yanmega can just... Well, after we double protect, Yan Mega can just set another Tailwind. Unless they have Ice Shard or Quick Attack or Faint. Ooh, if they have Faint or something. Does Talonflame get Faint? I don't think so. Yeah, we gotta double protect to get rid of their last turn of Tailwind. And then I can Tailwind and Thunderbolt there. Yeah, they see how it's going. They don't have a shot. GG. Very cool trainer card. Alright, we've got a Dozo team. Standard Dragonite, Talonflame, Golden Go, Glamora with Don Dozo, Tatsugiri. Usually, you might sometimes see like Pawmot over the Glamora. What is this team's answer to Don Dozo? I don't even... I'm not even sure. Incineroar can pivot around a lot and intimidate them. First, I have to survive the lead. I think that might be Yanmega, our Chaladon on lead. Gonna need Incineroar for fake outs. Or do I set Trick Room on them? I think that might be the play. I think I need to set Trick Room. And use Ursa Luna, because Facade does so much damage to a Dondozo. And Ursa Luna doesn't care too much if it gets poisoned. And finally, I think Yanmega gives me a partner to uh, Earthquake next to. Gives me Tailwind in case Trick Room doesn't work out. 
Sneasler doesn't have Fake Out. Yeah, I don't want to bring Sneasler to this. But I guess if I get the Whiter activated, eh. My one fear is Incineroar being useless on lead. Because if I... If they go, like, Talonflame with Covert Cloak, plus, like, Golden Go, Cinderella can't do anything with Fake Out. And they don't have a Trainer card. They're just serious. They're just here to win. And they're bringing a team that can just win. Dragonite Glamora. I don't mind that too much. We get to see if they're inner focus, first of all, which is good. They're multi-scale. Multi-scale Dragonite! And a special attack boost. Alright, things are just going my way today. Thank you for the Trick Room. Oh, what Terra Blast do I have? Flying. That's not gonna come in play. Eh, maybe it gets the Dondozo if they Terra. Yeah, I'm gonna Trick Room. I'm gonna fake out your Dragonite, and then I'm gonna die to Meteor Beam. Probably. Unless I want to tear this. Honestly, maybe I do. It seems like the thing. Trick Room, Defensive Terra, Fake Out Dragonite. Just in case there's a Meteor Beam coming. And if there's not a Meteor Beam coming, I still no longer am weak to ground and water for Dondoza later. So I might be able to get, like, one extra swap in to Intimidate. It's just Mortal Spin. Okay, I don't really care. That means to me, you definitely have Dondozo in the bag, though. Because why set up the poison for Dragonite? Alright, here's where you get to decide whether you terastalize your Dragonite or not. I'm going to Ice Beam, and normally you would Parting Shot with Ensign in this position. Maybe I still can into Dragonite. Yeah, I think I still can Parting Shot into Dragonite. I don't want to Parting Shot the Glamora, because if they Spiky Shield, I don't get the swap into Ursaluna yet but I'm fine with parting shotting the Dragonite. Extreme speed, their own Glamora for Toxic Spikes, that makes sense. Ice Beam, if this takes out, it does. Now we get the parting shot into Glamora. I guess I sh should have checked speeds in order to make that a little bit better, but we're gonna get poisoned on our Ursaluna instead of Burned. That's not the biggest deal in the world. They had to commit that side E speed to do that anyway. And I doubt they have anything to blow up our Ursaluna right here. Earth Power, that'll do nothing. Cool. Love that. Now they're going to bring in Dondozo, they're going to protect both. That gives me a free into Incineroar. Yeah, that's fine. I think if this game is lost, it's due to the poison. The poison might be chipping up too much. Because here I bring in Incin for sure to intimidate. But there's no reason they don't just protect both. The reason they don't protect both would be they don't have Protect on Glamora. We saw Earth Power. Yeah, I want the Intimidate. I want to facade the Dozo. Maybe this should have been a headlong rush into Glamora. If, they ha if they're Assault Vest Glamora... If they're Assault Vest Glamora, they would probably swap out this turn, though. 
Yeah, okay, good. Maybe they are a salt vest. And then if you attack to this turn, I get my facade. If you protected this turn, I get to fake out in facade. So either way, I'm going to hit you at least once with the bear, which is great. And poison's just as good for facade and guts. Alright. Almost half. And wave crash. Thank you for recoiling yourself. That's some good damage down on that Dondozo now. Question is whether I want to go into P2. Or if I want to go into Yanmega now. Yanmega wouldn't be poisoned. Who can do more damage though? 154, 184, definitely Yanmega. Yeah, Yanmega can do a ton of damage. When I get the opportunity. And with two turns of Trick Room left, yeah, they're gonna stall one. Here with protect and then they stall the last one on the turn they go down oh, does bug bus take them out plus knockoff maybe bug bus if bug buzz, if bug buzz plus knockoff can take them out that'd be great what do i want to make sure i still have though porygon 2 seems important for the end game Maybe I don't want a parting shot my Incineroar here. Or maybe I want a parting shot and detect. Maybe I want to knock off and detect. Knock off the Dondozo. Make sure they can't hit my Yanmega this turn. Because with one speed boost, I should be faster. Get rid of your leftovers. and order up into Incineroar. 57, down to 32. That does 20 something damage. They won't be able to knock me out by protecting. So I'll be able to bug buzz, take them out. No! Well, that changes a lot. <laughs> I thought should have been a KO. Oh boy. Well, that's no fun. Come on, Yanmega. You're better than this. That should have been a KO. Now the question is when they protect. At least we get the special attack boost. If they protect this turn, I should recover. I think they protect. Yes, good, 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 good. That's perfect. Now Bug Buzz will take you out, and then I get a plus one Terra Blast into your Tatsugiri. Then I think we're in a pretty good position. Because if plus one Terra Blast into Bug Buzz can take out Tatsugiri, that'd be beautiful. It's a little awkward that I have the fastest and slowest thing on the field, though. Terra Blast. And. Bug Buzz. Finally, Dondozo is down. Finally. Plus one Terra Blast will be pretty good into Tatsu. Very good. I think that's Bug Buzz range. And if there's Scarf, they can't protect. My one problem, though, is I can't do much damage to Glamora with either of these. My best bet is Ice Beam. 
but I should bug buzz Tatsugiri for sure. Even if they have Protect, I have Sash, so like I'm gonna get you next time. But yeah, that, that, that makes sense to Protect there if you have it. I didn't want to detect with my Yanmega and let them get re damaged into Porygon 2, but I guess that would have been the play. How can a poisoned P2 beat Glamora? Let's see how much Ice Beam does. Uh, don't love that damage. Ice Beam, Glamora. Bug Buzz Tatsu, that's the play. They get the double protect. They Oh, they don't go for the double protect. You should have. I think the double protect there is the play. Because if you get the double protect and take out Yanmega, P2 can't win. Oh, they attacked P2 right there. Oh, and a crit ice beam, yeah. Oh, and a freeze! <laughs> Porygon 2 is just like, why'd you attack me? I hate you. Take all this. <laughs> good, go good job, Porygon. I don't think we needed all that. I think the fact that they attacked Porygon 2 there was a throw, because then we get a couple bug buzzes into them. And they have to pick a target, because then Porygon can start recovering. GG. Okay, cool team. Indeedy, Typhlosion, Torkoal, Ursaluna, Gallade, and Exeggutor. So they have the Indeedy Gallade lead if they want to go Trick Room. They've got Torkoal and Exeggutor and Indeedee for Chlorophyll, Expanding Force shenanigans. They have just Typhlosion if they want to erupt. A lot they can do. And I don't know if I can cover for all of it. Does my bear have Earthquake is my first question. Yes, it does. Don't hate that. And my Archaladon has Stalwart. Stalwart would be good. If they go in DD Gallade, I can just blow up the Gallade. I think that's what I want to do. Now, what do I do against a Typhlosion lead? Incineroar knockoff. Yeah. No problem. Yanmega in the back, because we're going to stop Trick Room, and then we can bring in the fast thing. Yanmega could also work as a lead. Sash up, get Tailwind against Typhlosion, but I don't see anything... I don't want Tailwind right away. And then finally, probably Porygon 2? No. Probably Ursaluna. Because if we can get speed control on that team, Earthquake can rip. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Use Incineroar, Archaludon to prevent them getting Trick Room. And then use Yanmega, Ursaluna to sweep. Yeah, that should work. They don't have a trainer card either, so psh, easy peasy. This plan cannot possibly go wrong. In DD Exeggutar, it all went wrong. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to Oko our, the Exeggutar. At least we can hit the Exeggutar, though. No Psychic Seed on anybody? Cool. I got nothing wrong with Dragon Pulse, Exeggutar... Knock off Indeedy. If knock off can KO Indeedy because it is holding an item, they can't get Trick Room on that end. They can follow me in Trick Room with Exeggutor if they want. I don't even know if they want Trick Room with this lead. Because if they have Torkoal in the back, they're going to make their Exeggutor fast. Assuming they're Chlorophyll. They might be hard swapping in and then making fast. Okay, they're going for follow me. So I think I made the best play. Dragon Pulse does over half to Exeggutor, which is great. And indeed he actually lives the knockoff. It was Rocky Helmet. I'm okay with this because they clicked follow me. And they put a trick. Honestly, maybe I parting shot into my Ursaluna. <laughs> um, I'm going to protect Archaludon. I have Goggles Ensign, that's great. 
and try to parting shot their Exeggutor. I don't want to give them a free swap by taking out their Ndidi. And I feel like because they saw Stalwart, they're going to be scared of the Arch Ludon and try to target it. A hard swap from Ndidi is possible, but didn't happen yet. It is just follow me. Yeah, they really want me to knock out their Ndidi. Sorry, not going to just fall for that trick. And Incineroar is actually slower than their Exeggutor. I wonder if they're going for Expanding Force here. No way, right? It's probably like Sleep Powder into my Archaluna. Oh, it's Expanding Force, no! I'm sorry, Ursaluna, this is gonna hurt. Okay, but you take that. Because you're a beast. Alright, we know Ursa Luna is going to go before Ndidi, so I think right now I just protect it, unfortunately. Now I swap in Yanmega to be immune to this earthquake. Which won't take out Executor. Will it? So many turns of trick room left. Let's see, maybe I just Dragon Pulse Protect. Don't knock out the Ndidi once again, because I think we can take an Expanding Force on Arch. If that's all they're gonna do. Yeah, that is all they're gonna do. Just leave Ndidi on the field. No, I don't care. I don't care about no Ndidi. Now, if they bring in Torkoal, I don't love that. But I could bring in Insin and Yanmega, or I could bring in Insin and protect Arch. That's probably better. Yeah, there's Torkoal. Is this Trick Room over yet? It's the longest Trick Room I've ever seen. Alright, two more turns. This one I just protect Arch and bring in Ensign. They finally learned that they can just swap their Ndidi on their own. Okay. Into Galley. And we do get an attack drop on the Gallade. It's not clear, Amulet. Alright, this eruption is probably a two shot on Ensign, which is unfortunate. Yeah. So now we lose something. Who do I want to lose? Um, if I lose Yan Mega, our Chaladon can still blow somebody up. And there's Luna. Yeah, if I lose Insin Yan Mega, then I can come in, destroy Gallade with Electro Shot, and high and headlong rush the Torkoal. So I want here for Insin and Yan Mega to go down. And we'll see if it can happen. And I guess if Yan Mega survives, that's fine too. We're gonna see a Terra. I don't think you needed one that turn. I don't know what this is about. Just committing to Torpal damage. It was enough for the instant. I don't think you needed to do that. But yeah, as long as Gallade attacked, and it looks like they did, they'll be able to take out the 1 HP on Mega. Unless they have a ground move. 
That'd be weird. I don't think Gallade would have a ground move. I think it's going to be Sacred Sword. Because maybe they were worried about defensive Terra on Arch. Doesn't matter. I think this is the right position to be in. As long as Gallade isn't Focus Sash, and we can KO it with Electro Shot. We're max speed, so we're faster than any Gallade. If Electro Shot doesn't take out the Gallade, and they get Trick Room, we're cooked. Terra Electro Shot. Not Terra Ghost, but. Question is, do I double into Gallade just to be, just in case? I don't think so. I don't think it's Sash Gallade, right? Terra Electro Shot. I gotta cover for Sash Gallade, don't I? This play here could determine how this whole game plays out. Torkoal Swap. Does Gallade have Protect? Does Torkoal have Specs? This play makes sense if Torkoal's Specs or if Gallade has Protect. If Gallade has Protect, this might still have been the right play. We get a special attack boost. We don't KO the Ndidi. Okay, they don't Protect. So if they're Sash and they attack, they can still win. They need, but they need to live this hit one way or another. All we know is that they're not clear amulet. They do live the hit, but they're slower or going for Trick Room. Let's go. Okay. Whew. Yeah, if I headlong rushed in Didi, they get Trick Room there. Game over. Oracle wins. Unless I get a quadruple protect. But this I can work with. Because they already burnt Terra, yeah, so I can just Thunderbolt Ndidi. Headlong Rush Torkoal, game over. Whew. I was down to the last second making that final play there. Uh, sorry that Yan Mega didn't do much in this game. Kinda had to sack it in order to save this game. Thunderbolt Ndidi. Headlong Rush Torkoal. Yeah, indeed he must be going for Trick Room there, and I think their Torkoal specs the way they're playing it. Because the play there would be Hope I Double Torkoal, Protect Torkoal, Set Trick Room. But they must not have access to Protect. Get out of here, Torkoal. GG. Oh boy. That was a fun one. Didn't start off too hot, but ended up finding a win con. This team is solid, honestly. This team has ways to win. Now go get a trainer card, then maybe you'll win. All right, we've got Sand with Dog. All right, Tyranitar Lycanroc with Golden Go, Dragonite, Indeedee, and Annihilate. I wanna say that's a Scarf Coaching Final Gambit Annihilate. There's Dragonite, Titar, and maybe even Lycanroc as partners. They kind of have a Trick Room mode, but I think Ndidi might be more of an Imprison. In which case, Porygon 2 not looking great. Sneasler seems pretty good. Do we have Throat Chop? We do. I don't hate Sneasler, and Incineroar seems pretty good. A lot of Intimidate targets, but also Annihilate. Yanmega with Sand team. Uh, <laughs> don't love that. Don't hate Archaladon though. There's nothing that should really be able to Oko us except maybe like fighting Lycanroc. Like a fighting move from Lycanroc or I mean Final Gambit too. Oh, 
want Yanmega just for Tailwind. Then bring in Archaludon. Yanmega in Sin. No. Yanmega, Archaludon, get Tailwind. Have Insin Sneasler. Yeah. I think that's okay. Ah, this team is going to be a hard one to match up against. And plus, if they just go with a mode I'm not ready for, that's a that's a card. That is a trainer card. Okay. Annihilate Indeedy. I'm gonna double protect and see what you're going for here. Cause if you have final gambit. then you could be in trouble. Because my Yanmega could outspeed. It probably doesn't though, because we're not max speed Yanmega. But I at least get to see what kind of thing you're going for. If you go for Final Gambit Trick Room, then you're really in trouble. Because then Archaladon... What? Stop bringing the camera over here. That is not the place for the camera. I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet. This map always does that. <laughs> oh, what was I saying? Anyway, we're gonna protect. And we're also gonna protect. I guess my fear is if they just do like Final Gambit plus not set Trick Room. Okay, it's just Drain Punch. That's no big deal. Plus Trick Room. Okay. I'm gonna launch a nasty move with our Chaladon. And just start bug buzzing down your Indeedee. Here, hold this uh, Terra Electric Electro shot that you can't redirect. And depending on your speed, I mean, we're max speed our Chaladon. So, unless they're max speed ape, they get to go first. Here's Tyranitar. I like bug buzzing a Tyranitar. And Sand is gonna chip our Arch now, but we're not sturdy, so that doesn't really matter. Losing our Sash is annoying. But a free bug buzz on Titar versus our Sash, I guess that's fair. There's Drain Punch, that's not gonna do much. Confirms you're not Scarf at least. And now this will be some damage. I would have liked to not Terra now that I see Tyranitar, but it's all right. Tyranitar is going to take some damage. I mean, if they're Assault Vest plus in the sand, Annihilate lives that. Wow. The Tyranitar takes a lot. Oh, maybe the Annihilate is the Assault Vest one. Yeah, that's weakness policy, Tyranitar. Great. Oh, no. <laughs> And it's all going wrong. Okay. At least Annihilate is taking Sand Chip. See no reason not to double protect here, I guess. Oh no, they're leftovers Annihilate. Of course they are. Well then. Ensign is pretty slow. It's probably slower than their Annihilate, but probably not slower than their Tyranitar. But the Tyranitar will get down to minus one when that comes in. So, I think the play... is preserve Arch and let Yanmega go. That way we get an Ensign, which should be slower, take out the Annihilate. Hopefully at only plus one we can take a hit from Tyranitar on our Arch and our Incineroar. And they just go for Drain Punch. They want health back. Okay. All we know is the Ape is slower than a max speed Arch. That doesn't tell us much information. 
I would like to know more info before I go into this play, but I don't have the time. I have no other play. I think our Chaladon might be able to take a hit. We don't have an item anymore, so if they go for plus one knockoff, that won't do much. My fear is they can knock out Ensign, but at plus one with, like, what, Rock Slide? That probably doesn't do it. Got a lot of HP. Get the knockoff there. And then our strongest move would be Thunderbolt on Tyranitar. It's the only play I got, so I'm going for it. Will I make the Trick Room comeback? I did not peg this as a Trick Room team when I first saw it, but fell right into their trap. They are, in fact, slower than it's in our orb, but we live! Alright, Ape is gone at least. And we get the Thunderbolt off. This is plus one and Terra boosted. And Tyranitar lives. And Tyranitar's slower than our Incineroar. But our Incineroar's goggles, so we didn't go down yet. Our Chaladon can take one more tick of sand before it goes down. Hmm. And they've got what? Indeedee and a whole nother Pokemon. I guess if Tyranitar is going to rock slide, Sneasler can come in on that. So we could preserve something. That something is. I don't know. <laughs> Golden Go. Last turn of Trick Room. <laughs> if we swap and they click Make It Rain, we're cooked. I think we have to lose in. Is this the last turn of Trick Room, though? Yeah. Hold up. Two turns of sand, so Arch is gonna go down to sand one way or another. I'm gonna flare blitz their golden go. And just protect our Chaladon. If they like miss Rock Slide and we take out Golden Go. They did go for Rock Slide. They didn't miss it though. Alright. They have nasty plot on gold. So they just double protect this next turn to take out my arch. No, the last turn of sand doesn't hit you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does more? Plus one stab Thunderbolt. It's Thunderbolt times 1.5 times 1.5. That's 200 damage. And then are the attack stats remotely similar? 200 versus 177? Yeah, so Thunderbolt's my strongest move on the gold. Do they have Intimidate? No. No reason not to close combat because I have the White Herb. Um, unless they have Terra Ghost? They do still have their Terra. So I'm going to throw a Dire Claw over at Tyranitar. And Thunderbolt their Golden Go. Tyranitar swapped. Honestly, maybe I should have doubled Golden Go here. No, Golden Go protected. Okay, I should not have doubled Golden Go. Critical hit on Dire Claw, no status effect. Okay, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna follow me. Or they're gonna try to set Sand again to KO our Chaladon. Throat Chop and Thunderbolt Golden Go. 
If they use follow me, Thunderbolt doesn't KO their Golden Go, Make It Rain KOs both of us. If I protect Sneasler, then I just have a Sneasler and then they follow me and they make it rain and I can't win that. If if I protect Archaladon, I risk them bringing in Tyranitar. <laughs> My only play is to double the gold. They did use follow me. So we throat chop, get rid of that. Thunderbolt has to KO. If Thunderbolt doesn't KO, there's no way Sneasler takes this make it rain, which is definitely what they're throwing. And I don't think this KOs. No, not even close. They're bulky. Paralysis? Oh, they got Citrus Berry. Oh, they're super bulky. Oh, okay. Here's Make It Rain. No way we live this. Nah. I was thinking, oh, they're so bulky. Maybe Sneasler just hangs on. But then how are we going to beat Tyranitar and Golden Go? All right, GG. That was a close one. Well, maybe not super close. But GG anyway. Maybe if I had saved my Electro Shot? I don't know. Go get a different trainer card. And we are back. Honestly, I think Yanmega did pretty well. I wish it could do, like, a little bit more damage. Like, especially when I was fighting that Don Dozo, I was like, this definitely KOs, right? You're a strong special attacker. I guess not. But anyways, I love the team. Go ahead and try it yourself. There's a rental code for you. And anyways, I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace. <laughs>